Hello. We're playing uh, this game that's written on the screen that I'm not going to try to pronounce, but Eric might pronounce it sometime. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. We're playing on boardspace.net. Yeah. All right. So this game is an unusual game played on a circular board. The essence of the game is that your most recent, more severely, is that your most recent, okay, I'm going to read the sentence just because it doesn't make sense to me, but the essence of the game is that your most recent, more severely restricts your opponent's next move, which results in mind-twisting feedback as you play. The publisher cast the game as, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, okay, you can read the rules, okay. Any rules? Okay, the official rules are available from the publisher's website. This may illustrate, this is my illustrated interpretation of the official version. Okay, I'll open this up first. Let's see what it's like. This is our first time playing. Uh, okay, and the PDF's not over. All right. Game is for two players. Close that. Each player has 12 pieces called stones, uh, which are played on a circular board with 12 segments. The object of the game is to return to the way. This occurs when your opponent is unable to place or remove a stone. The equipment. There are, there are 12 stones for each player. The unmarked stone is called the old stone. The rest are called one stone, two stone, and so on, to five. All right, the play. Black moves first by placing any stone on the board. After the first move, players alternate moving, either placing or moving a stone on the board, according to these rules. When one player cannot make a legal move, they lost the game. All right, so here are the rules. Each turn, you all either add or remove one of your pieces from the board. If the most recent move was in stone, you may either add or remove a stone from the board, exactly in spaces distant from the previous one, previous move. So in is a stand-in for, you know, like one through five, of course. Um, so say if you move, a, if the most recent stone was a four stone, you may either add or remove a stone from the board exactly four spaces distant from the previous move. All right. uh, number two, if the most recent move was adding an old stone, which is the zero stone, you must add a stone at the closest empty space on the board. Okay. The last move was to remove an old stone, you must remove your closest stone. Precept one, you can move only your own stones. Precept two, only two stones of any type, uh, color doesn't matter, can be on the board at any time. Um, if your most recent move was to remove a stone, you may not add the same type to the same position on your very next turn. All right, uh, so those were all the rules. Uh, I guess we're gonna start. I'm gonna, I, do you want me to read any part again, or? Um, no, because I'm still confused, and I don't think reading again is going to unconfuse <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this one might be confusing us. We'll definitely play it again in the future, uh, if this one's, like, really bad for us playing. I don't know. I mean, but we'll try to play it again in the future and have a better understanding if this one turns out. Ah. So... I'm going to read this. I'm just going to read this part again. I'm going to try to read it faster. Black moves first by placing a stone, any stone on the board. After the first move, players alternate moving, either placing or moving a stone on the board, according to the rules. And when a player cannot make a legal move, they lost the game. So each turn, you either add or remove a stone. Um, the most recent was in stone. You may either add or remove a stone from the board exactly in spaces uh, distant from the previous move. If it was a zero stone, you must add a stone at the closest empty space on the board. If the last move was to remove a zero stone, you must remove your closest stone. And if you can't move, or you don't have a legal move, you lose the game. 
Okay, I think that kind of makes sense. I think we should be able to get that. Alright. Um, so if I place this, you have to place... You have to place a stone two away, I believe. Yep, that shows up there. So, so say if I place it, I, the two away from my two, I can't really do it yet. But then you could re, you would have to remove the two because then you can either yeah okay. One two three four. Let's go with. Okay no, okay. If your most recent move was to remove a stone. You may not add the same type to the same position on your very next turn. Okay, see now I have to remove that, or it looks like it's giving me an option. Oh, I can go backwards too. So I can I just have to move two away. I thought there was something about only two stones of any type, color doesn't matter, can be on the board at any time. Like two stones of any type. So I was going to place a two down, but there's two twos on there. I'm going to try to place a two down. Nope, it won't let me place a two down. Nice. Okay, this makes sense. I'm getting it so far, I think. Okay, so I have to remove. It's only giving me an option to remove one of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, it's not placed back in my stack. It's placed on the edge of the board. Uh, let me read. If if your most recent move was to remove a stone, you may not add the same type of type of same. What just happened? I have no idea. What did you do? <laughs> my, my two back. And something came off the board. A year two went off the board. And then year two's on the edge. Okay. Um, and my two, my two's back in my hand, maybe? Uh, well, I have two twos in my hand, so do you. Well, no, because I have two twos as well, and I still have mine up there. Ooh. I'll brew it if you. That's a three. It's already a three on the board, right? So why, what's the purpose of removing stones? What does that matter? Okay, so I have two twos, and now I can place two on the board.
Okay, so maybe it's good to take things off the board because then you get them back. Cool. So you didn't have a legal move because five was on my one. Yeah, there's no place to. You couldn't pick it up. So it was mine? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, did you want to do another game or do you want to go to the next game or what do you want to do? Yeah, let's go to the next game. All right. We'll definitely, we'll definitely do another game of this in the future. Uh, that seemed easy enough to understand, I think. Um, yeah, I would recommend this. I, I enjoyed it. Um, once I understood, pretty much immediately once I understood that you kind of wanted your pieces off the board and wanted not your opponent to take their pieces off the board, it made a little more sense. I believe that's the case. Let me know if you have any strategy. We'll post it below, but we'll probably have other video of this before we post this video, too. So, see you next time.